find product links below and hundreds more videos on my channel. Hi everyone, welcome back. So I've discussed tilting sliders quite a few times in various different methods in previous videos and some of them work well, some of them not so much, but this is a method that is kind of obvious, but maybe not too obvious. But uh, this is a method that's very cheap to do, fairly easy, fairly solid, and you know, works pretty well and just isn't as adjustable as some of the other methods, like being able to lock it in that sort of position and isn't as quick. So with some of the other methods, you literally just sort of release, tilt, lock, done. Whereas here, it's more sort of, a little bit more complicated, but not too bad. So uh, basically we have a quick release plate on there and one there. And that's because I like working with quick release plate systems. Now, ideally you take the camera off and uh, you know, just for safety uh, while you do all this, but I mean, I guess you don't have to. Um, like right now, I'm not gonna take it off, but most of the time it's safer to, to remove the camera before you do this. And um, you don't have to use a quick release plate on there or there. You can just screw the slider onto the tripod, uh, you know, this way. But I'm doing it with a quick release plate just because it's that much easier. And it's actually stronger because I have two screws under there. I put some duct tape over them because um, the little D-rings were actually, these little things were getting in the way uh, in, from, in these two screws. I've never actually had to do that before, but just uh, the two screws that I found to put on there, the D-rings were sort of getting stuck uh, when I tried to slide that on, so I put a bit of duct tape, but um, not a big issue. And most of the time you wouldn't really have to do that. But uh, basically with those two screws, rather than just one, that gives me a very, very solid connection to the tripod and uh, makes sure that it's not gonna spin or move out of position. And the, um, the base of the quick release is also connected very, very well to the tripod. And depending on the quick release plate system that you're using, there are various methods of connecting it very well and making sure that it doesn't spin. And so, okay, so now that I've done that, I can uh, bring this down towards me so I can actually work with it. And what I'm actually gonna do, I'll turn this so you can see it. So what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna tilt this like that. I'm gonna release all these things and then lock it into whatever position I want. And then I'm gonna remove the camera and turn the quick release sideways. And that, now instead of the camera pointing that way or that way, it's gonna point this way. And of course you could just take the camera out and have it point like that, but then you can't see the screen as easily. So it really depends on your preference. I mean, you could have it out here and just have it a bit further away from the uh, slider so you can see the screen. And then that gives you some tiltability this way as well. But uh, for this demonstration, I've turned this because I mean, it doesn't really take very long to do that. And so just gonna place that like that lock it in place, and that's basically it. I'm gonna undo that, and then I can actually do these shots. And now, the heavier the camera, the more difficult that's gonna be to, to do, and the slower you wanna make the shot go, the more difficult it's gonna be to do. So it's not necessarily something that's like super easy to actually get a perfect shot like that. I mean, it's one of the reasons why I'm using various things to actually make this thing, to make my slider systems be more smooth, which I'll put links to down below. I've discussed them many times in many different videos, but basically uh, rotating weights or counterweights. Um, so uh, to, make, to, to be able to do this kind of stuff very smoothly. So um, let, me do a, let me do a sort of an example right now. So if I were to want to do a shot coming down, I can do that pretty well, but if I had the uh, rotating weight system or the counterweight for this, then it would be completely smooth, going at a very, very consistent speed. Whereas now I can do something that's, you know, not terrible, but not completely perfect because I am human. So, you know, not like a robot or something, uh, obviously. <laughs> so, uh, okay, so this method I find is pretty simple and easy to do. It allows you to get down low, uh, close to the ground fairly easily. And another thing that you could consider, which might be actually be more difficult to do, is to actually have the system to the side of the slider, meaning 
something like something like this, where this connection right here, so the slider would be there, and then that's only sort of preventing it from falling, and then the weight of the slider system is sitting on the floor. But that, you know, I'm not, for me, it's not really the ideal thing to do. Generally, I wanna keep it on, on here. And then if I wanna go down lower than I can do using the uh, tripod itself, and just by adjusting the legs, and of course, you know, not all tripods go super low, but, um, you know, a, a lot of them do at least, well, some of them do. For example, the Velbon DV7, uh, DV7000 is a fairly low cost one that will go fairly low. And this is an expensive one that will go pretty low, uh, very low, the Manfrotto 535. So you, uh, you can't see that right now, but it's basically like very close to the ground. So um, thanks for watching. I hope you find this uh, helpful and I hope you... Uh, ask me questions if you do in the comments below and thanks for watching don't forget to subscribe and check out my other videos and I'll see you guys soon bye